Welcome back, everybody, and uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, I don't know when everybody's going to see this, but it's Christmas Eve here today, and uh, I've got the wood cook stove fired up, and uh, every Christmas Eve, we started a tradition to cook steaks on the fire pit. Well, it's blistering cold outside, and I'm not standing out there, so I got this thing fired up, so we're going to, this is the first time I've ever cooked on this, so we're going to cook us some steaks. I got a, a good big cast iron skillet. I'm going to throw a little olive oil on there and some seasoned up steaks. And we're going to cook us some steaks right here on the top of this thing. So I'm going to try to record this the best I can. I'm not a I'm not a chef or a cooking channel by any means, but that's just what I'm doing today. So so you can see it, uh, as my mother-in-law said, here on the homestead, we're going to try this out. So, uh, But uh, that's why I got this is just for this reason, just to try it out and experiment on and and I said something about that uh, wood stove that I wanted from uh, Tractor Supply. I actually found one in stock, so I may go get it next week. Uh, the Lord blessed us with the money to get it, so uh, so we may be going and getting that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, we may just wait till better weather and then get it, or may wait till spring. Uh, maybe when the prices come down a little bit, we may go get it. We'll just see. But uh, but I'm going to shoot a video of the stovepipe since the weather's not horrible. I'll show you the stovepipe and how I got it rigged up. So we're, we're going to get this going and uh, we'll get this cast iron heated up and we'll get to cooking here in just a minute. Here's my stovepipe apparatus. Now that it's not 20 below zero, I can actually film it. And this is 100% temporary. This is just until I get get enough money to buy all that stovepipe because it's like $1,000 for all that stovepipe. So this is just my makeshift of uh, everything. Looks like I got some siding loose too. I'll have to fix that too. But uh, just got me some pieces of metal that are what, like six foot long and just tapped it up there. And we had some 30, 40 mile an hour winds yesterday. Well, it may not have been that much, but it was a lot. Uh, so it, it withstood that. So I'm happy with it. I got a little bit of green wood. I see some creosote dripping out of it. I don't like that. But it's still dripping out because it's thawing out a little bit. But, but it'll be fine for right now until I can get some of that better pipe.
we're going to start this adventure here. A little bit of vegetable oil. Get started with that. This pan is not hot yet, so I can touch it. Put my plastic glove on too soon. Throw my steaks in there. There we go. I'm gonna put that about middle ways here. Let that oil start jumping and throw those steaks in. Right, let's get as close as we can here. It won't fall off, fall off my tripod. Oil looks like it's starting to do a little moving around, so it's right where we want it. And these steaks just have uh, famous Dave's steak and burger on them. That's what we usually like, so we don't usually get a whole lot of special stuff in it. But We're going to throw some butter on there too here in a minute. I'm going to have to keep moving it back and forth to keep my temperatures right, but right now the fire is kind of low, so it should be okay. Maybe do a slow cook on them. Kids want some hot dogs, so I decided to try some hot dogs on here too. See if we can get them cooked up. Cook them a lot slower though. All right, these things are gone for a little bit. I'm gonna try to flip them over, see what they look like. Chewy, look at that. Ooh, that was burnt. We're going to move that skillet a little bit. Like that there. Man, they're looking good though. Looking really good. There's just something about a smell of a just this old cast iron. Just smells good. All right, I think we got a pretty good sear going on them. So I'm gonna move them over here on the cooler side. Let them slow cook for a little bit. Put these hot dogs over here, give them some attention. Well, I better move them around this way. Something like that. Got to move them to the heat. Take y'all down here. We'll take y'all down here so you can see the firebox. If I don't burn my fingers. That's the kind of fire we're going with right now. Oven says it's about 450. I don't know what the top is. And I'll tell you a little bit of, on this pan here, uh, uh, well, I'll tell you a little back history. Uh, my dad passed away about three years ago. And when we was uh, cleaning up his house, we found all this cast iron. And this was one of them. For who knows what reason, it was laying outside. So the other day, I drug it out and because uh, I got all this old cast iron, cleaned it up brushed it out re-seasoned it and i've been cooking some the parmesan chicken from uh, longhorn i've been cooking it in that cast iron skillet and now i'm doing this so so it's uh kind of in memory of him because he always cooked on this stove too so
Let's see what the bottom of these things look like. The blood coming out, so it's probably getting pretty close. Yep. I'm going to move them over some more. I don't want them getting burnt. Well, I'm moving back a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and take these stakes off of here. Move them over to the side. I'm going to let them continue cooking just in the pan there. Oh, I forgot my butter. We're going to take us some, a couple big old lumps of butter. Throw that on there and let it melt inside of there. Everything's better with butter, ain't it? Ever cooked hot dogs in a cast iron skillet? I don't know what's gonna happen to them. You gotta try something sometime, don't you? Tells you how hot the top of that is. It melted into that glove right off. Note to self. Self, put a little oil in that pan and you cook hot dogs next time. All right, it looks like we're all done here. I'm not gonna let them hot dogs go too long, so I'm probably just gonna burn them down to nothing. All my butter's melted on the steaks. They look good, so I think I'm gonna call this one good and done. Hope y'all liked the video. Uh, the steaks were mighty tasty. Uh, the hot dogs weren't too bad either, but uh, that's my first time doing that, and I, I think I'm hooked. It's pretty fun to do, so... 
I was going to move this wood cook stove out. Now I'm trying to figure out a way that I can keep it in here with another wood stove. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet, but uh, we'll figure something out. And uh, and I'm actually, I called this one the Hamilton's Homestead. So I don't know what we're going to do with this channel and everything. And I may just do different segments. Whatever I'm doing that week, that may be what you all see. Because I want to try to put out one video a week at least. If I do little stuff, like my Toyota video I, I put on there, that, that was all pictures, so that took a whopping 10 minutes to do or something. But uh, but I'm going to try to do stuff like that. And uh, at the beginning of the video, I, I'm going to put what it is. If it's doodle, Doodle's Day Off, that's going to be a fabrication, goofing off in my shop type of deal. If I'm painting something, it'll be just regular stuff. Then if I'm doing homesteading stuff, it may be the Hamilton's Homestead. And it may even go into doing different channels at some point. I don't I don't know how big this is going to do. I don't I don't even know if it may be a flop. I, I don't know. It just depends where the Lord wants to take it. So we'll we'll just see where he where he wants me to go and that's the way we're going to go. So uh so I hope y'all like this a uh, little something a little different and uh I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Uh so we're just going to let it off and you all everybody have a merry christmas and uh just everybody be safe out there and everything traveling and all that. So uh we're going off and we'll see y'all later.